Hello me loves, it is half two and I've just gotten into town because we are going to be doing one of my much loved, probably favourite videos. If I don't do one of these videos in a while, people start to ask for them and that is a come shopping with me. I don't know what it is about these videos but people love them so obviously I'm going to keep doing them for you. So today I'm going to Primark, me and Jess have got two filming days scheduled together this week and for my day so she's having a day where we'll do content for her channel and then I'm doing a day where we're going to do content for my channel and I need to go to Primark and Poundland to get some supplies for them videos so I've just got into town I'm going to head to Primark now we're going to go there we're going to have a look what's around I haven't been to Primark in a few months so it should be nice to see what's around and then on the way home I'm going to go to Poundland I also might pop into B&M because I haven't been to B&M in a while and TK Maxx because let's just say I'm ready for an autumn scented candle I am and I feel like TK Maxx is the best place for stuff like that so I really hope you enjoy this video I, lo I know that these are one of your favourites so I thought why not do another one without further rat -a -ta -ta -ta, let's go shopping I walked into the shop and I'm not gonna lie I got really really excited I seen a lot of green which I really like and I was a bit excited because I feel like the stock had definitely had an update since I was last in but then I very quickly became disappointed because everything that I liked when I was looking for my size which is a UK 18 to 20 none in stock at all and I was really really disappointed because I felt like they had some stuff that I really wanted but they just didn't have my size in anything and to be honest I couldn't find sizes really above a medium I like this kind of American men's section part but again I just felt like do I, I buy these stuff and then I don't wear it enough but the stationery was quite good they had like adult, adult colouring books and I quite like the stationery but again I buy a lot of stationery and I don't need it so yeah Guys, this is the most gorgeous bedding I've seen in my entire life. I love the pattern of it, but they don't have um, Super King, but I think that is gorgeous. Guys, Primark was shit. They had like nothing in that I wanted. I had some absolutely gorgeous bedding in, but none of it in, well, the ones I wanted, none of it in Super King, which I was really disappointed about. I seen Christmas bedding, colourful bedding, and I love bedding. And I actually could do with some new bedding, even though I just bought two new bedding. Especially when I have a whippet who decides to bite all the buttons off my bedding, which means it doesn't close properly. Yes, that's Luna. So I'm really disappointed with Primark. I just feel like they had potential, but didn't have the stuff I wanted so I'm gonna head straight to Poundland I'm gonna have to come up with another video idea for tomorrow and I have not got a speed and uh, I haven't got a ticket I thought I might have a ticket I've just seen the ticket it's Becta coming over the bridge as well so good job um, I'm here because it wasn't till I was in the first or second shop I realized I hadn't paid so then I needed to go and pay so hmm. nonetheless I'm in, an, um, I'm in a shopping park, we'll have B&M, Poundland, TK Maxx, they're the shops I'm going to go in. There is also an Asda and I'm thinking on going in the Asda as well because I might be able to get clothes in there for mine and Jess's video so that I can still do the video. So I think I'm going to go to Asda as well and see if I can get, I need about four to five if I can get more outfits for me and Jess and Asda usually have a really good size range so I think I'm going to go to Asda as well. So let's try and recommence the shopping vlog. Starting with a good old browse in Poundland. They've got a Land of Nod range which has face masks. You can also get a trio set of um, bath crystals, body lotion and body scrub. They also have a bath soak, a shower gel and then a diamond fizzer with salt in the range. And it is all, well these are £2 but these are £1.50. 
also have these which kind of look like number seven but they've like hashtag six retinal collection and hydraulic collection little skincare set for six pound they actually have loads of stuff from this six range they have a hot cloth cleanser as well i used to love the lizelle hot cloth cleanser um, which is £3 and then they also have a foot mask and a sheet mask and then they also have a toner as well in the range and then a um, face and body cream these are so cute to make your own juice with like lemons or limes or whatever the hell you can squash on there kind of feel like the silver handle looks like the paints wore off I don't think like I think it should have just been orange these are cute how random. Now heading in to TK Maxx. The Christmas stuff's already out and it makes us so excited that lemon body shop set oh my god love it i've just seen the pixie foundation is here which is actually my favorite one for oh my god 6.99 i'm gonna get some for my mom and me because that's a bargain they have such a good range of makeup in the have so weaver as well and i did see some um fenty beauty yeah there so i bought two of them in different shades one for me and one for my mom because i know my mom likes it as well I love all the fancy shower gels and stuff they do here. Like these. Don't know why. I just like love stuff like this. Look at this one. French shower gel. Get in my basket. They also have this here, which is a pixie set. They've got the body cleanser, body polish, and body balm. Not gonna lie, out of all the pixie stuff I've tried, the body stuff is not my favourite. But for $6.99, if you want to test it, it is good. But I've currently got this in my bath at the minute, the rose cleanser, and I just don't love it. But I've seen some also here they've got some Fenty skin as well. I think it's like a body scrub. I have this drunk elephant set here as well, which has quite a few products in it, and it is £60, but it is a really, really expensive skincare brand. Um, so this is going to be the end of the come shop with me. I'm sorry it's not the best one. I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm feeling a bit shit, so if I'm a bit down, that's why is I talk more about it in the weekly vlog, but I have just, um, well, I've been, for, ex for a while I've had struggles with food. If you've followed us a while, you know I've struggled with food for a very long time. And I've, I've been alright, I've been doing quite good, but I have just binged quite a bit of food and I feel like absolute shit about it. Yeah, so I'm just not feeling great to be completely honest, but I did need to end this video, so I'm going to end it now and I hope you're all having a great day. I have to be up nice and early tomorrow because me and Jess are going to be filming some collabs together, which I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, I need to go to bed at a decent time. So I'm probably just going to wrap this video up and head to bed. Good night. I hope you had a great day. If you would like to see more Come Shop With Me's 
then let us know by giving this one a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below for further out of I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye.